Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title of today's video, we are starting another monthly pet supplies haul. This is for the month of April. It is currently April 5th and I bought some cool stuff for the animals for spring. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. There's some more stuff coming tomorrow, I believe, and I think this is pet stuff. I also ordered some stuff for like my new Etsy launch because I'm launching my crochet keychains this week. I've been ordering a lot of shop stuff too. So we're just gonna get into it. First here, we have a bag full of like spring themed garlands. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I have like these Valentine's Day garlands that are currently on my tables. And for spring, that red is really not going to work. So I found this pack, it's like 66 feet of these just spring looking garlands. We've got pink and we've got blue. I ordered both pink and blue. And these are like, I think eight feet long each. And it'll be long enough to go across all four of my tables in the pet room. And it's gonna look really pretty. Then I bought this guinea pig cabin with pee pad set. So Austin has a lot of these in his pet room and I really like the way that they look. And I wanna try to buy more wooden stuff because it can also be used as like a chew toy to help grind down guinea pigs teeth. And I really like the way that wood items look and last. And this was like $20, pretty cheap. So I got the one with the pee pad. The pee pad is not the best but I liked the way this one looked because it had like a little window and stuff too. And then I ordered a pack of three Guinea Dad Heidi houses because they're like $15 for a pack of three. All of my guinea pigs love these. They are just cardboard boxes from Guinea Dad. You can cut out this little thing right here and it's like a little window. It's really cheap and easy to use, so. Yeah, I got these. There's some more beds and stuff that I ordered that are coming tomorrow, but I wanted to go ahead and show you those things that I bought. So I will keep you guys updated tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's the next day. Apologies for the way that I look. I'm not feeling the best, but I have three more packages here. And I think this is all animal stuff. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> look at this. So this Heidi house I found on Amazon gave me such spring vibes because it looks like a little honey pot some like bees on it and i feel like it would look so cute with my yellow and pink fleece that i bought for spring not gonna lie it's not very open and this like pad that's supposed to go inside of it it's a bit weird i don't know why it's like this you can like open it up but it doesn't stay in here very well. Next, we have another yellow bed. This is so cute. So I have this brand in like the pink color. If many of you guys remember kind of the pink one that I have with like the hearts on it. So this is the same brand. It has like little bunnies on it and little hearts and it's large. I got the large size and it's yellow. It comes with little hooks. So you can kind of like hook it to the side or the top of the cage to kind of make it stay open really well. This is probably one of my favorite beds. My pigs love them. They last like over a year. It's really, really nice, thick quality. So I really, really like this. And then lastly, we have this bed right here. I'm obsessed with the colors. This is just so pastel and soft. And I love all of these colors together. I don't remember what size this was. I think it was the biggest size, but I'll put a link for it down below like I do every month. I am so in love with these colors and it's gonna look really, really pretty with my spring fleece. There's one more bed coming today, but here were the beds. And these are all gonna be for the spring video because all the beds that I currently have are pink. Um, all of my fleeces aren't pink, so I needed to get some other colors. So I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, it is April 9th. And as you can see from behind me, I'm currently doing the bonding process between Sabrina, Kevin, Kijo, and Salem. Bonding is going so well that I'm actually extremely bored right now. And I remembered that I had a couple of little fun things to show you that I bought for the animals. I wanted to show them to you. Um, I won a raffle giveaway for this Instagram account. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I entered a raffle, I donated some money and I got a ticket and I won. I barely ever win every anything in my life. So <laughs> I won a raffle and I won. I got this awesome like big cuddle sack um, from Lucy's Cozies, I believe is the shop name. And then I also got a gift card to the Natural Cavi website. And then I just got this delivered. Totally forgot that I ordered it. I got this bath mat to use in front of Zero's litter box for the spring video. And if you hear birds chirping, I have the window open, so I apologize for that. But it's this cute little bunny with a carrot. I figured it would be perfect for the spring video. So I got that for Zero. And honestly, kind of want to use it for my own bathroom because it's so cute. And then I have the last little spring Heidi that I bought. So this one is a green Heidi house. All the pigs 
want what I have because they think it's like plastic for them. So they keep coming over here asking <laughs> me for some food and I don't have any. So I'm not gonna lie, this Heidi home kind of seems like pretty cheap quality. Doesn't seem like the best. So I don't know how long it's going to last. I think it was pretty cheap on Amazon, but I really, really like the green and I feel like it's gonna look really pretty for spring, especially because a lot of the fleeces I have have green in them. Um, I don't really know what kind of material this is. It also smells very chemically. So don't know if I'm a huge fan of this. I do like the inside though. The inside's like really fuzzy. Yeah, we'll see how long this lasts, but I mean, to be fair, it was pretty cheap on Amazon. So yeah, that was some fun things that I got um, to show you guys while this bonding is happening. Um, it's been going for like almost three hours now and nothing has <laughs> happened. So I'm extremely bored. Hey guys, I don't know what day it is. It's like April 12th or something. I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> but I just got a bunch of pet packages in the mail, as you can see. Got some stuff from Chewy and from Target. These are all really fun stuff um, for a future video that I have planned. So let's do the Target box first, because I don't think I've ever unboxed anything from Target on here. So I bought a bunch of more bath mats. As many of you guys know, Target makes these very cheap bath mats that are amazing to use as guinea pig bedding. They're $6 each. Um, they last a couple of days if you use them as pee pads and liners, mainly as pee pads because the water um, does make it pretty wet over a couple of days. But if you use them as like straight up liners, they do last that full week if you're always cleaning and using pee pads over them. So they're really great. They have bigger sizes. This is the 17 by 24 inch. So I got two of this mint color because I don't have this color yet. And then I got three of this yellow because I don't have any of these yellows and this is going to be perfect for the spring video that I'm filming this weekend. So I got three of the yellow, two of the mint. I am so happy with these. They're so soft. Obviously they're absorbent since they're bath mats, they're used to getting water on them. These things in these chewy packages are for a future video I plan on doing. Um, I don't know if it's already been up since this video comes up, but I'm planning on filming a video where I turn Zero's little living space in the pet room to like a little apartment to make it look like an apartment. So these are the items that I bought for that. Okay, so the first thing here, as you can see, is a cat house scratcher, but it looks like a TV. As you can see, so this is supposed to be for cats, but it's just made out of complete cardboard, so it's completely safe for bunnies. So if she decides that she wants to completely destroy it, that's fine. Zero absolutely loves like cat cardboard items. And then I saw this and I was debating on getting it or not because it has balls in it, as you can hear. A Game Boy. A Game Boy! Oh my God, like I had one of these growing up. It has little balls in it, which Zero could definitely, you know, play with. I don't know um, if she will like this or not, but I mainly just got it for the video because I want Zero to have her own Game Boy like I did when I was a kid. And it came with these pack of lava lamp cat toys so I'll definitely be giving my cats these cat toys um, to play with and it came with catnip too and the last item we have here in its own separate box is this huge cat house scratcher that looks like a succulent plant it's going to be perfect for the little living room setup and zero can also hide in here if she wants to didn't know it was gonna be this big this is literally huge so this is gonna be perfect for the little apartment video because she's gonna have a TV. I'm planning on getting her a little couch. She has an Ikea bed. Like it's gonna be so, so cute. So I'm very, very excited for that video. So I just wanted to show you guys those things. I will keep you guys updated if I purchase anything else, which I probably will. <laughs> hey guys, it's actually the next day since I last did a little haul and I got a couple of packages. So the first package right here is actually a pack of one milliliter syringes and I bought this for my emergency kit. Day that I'm filming this right now, I actually have a vet appointment at 2.30 because my rat, Sage, I think broke her foot. Don't really know how she did. It's swollen, she's not putting weight on it and she seems like she's in pain. So I gave her some children's Motrin this morning but I only had a couple of syringes left. So I bought a whole new pack of 100 one milliliter syringes. Then in the next package, I have some more Katie Aspen bedding. I usually get the biggest bag, but they only had the 52 liter one. This one will last like a week. <laughs> and as always, there's always a hole in the bag. Every time I get a new bag of Aspen and it goes 
everywhere. And then lastly, I have a package from The Pig Room. Uh, this is actually one that I bought myself. Um, I will have uh, his shop down below. He's opening a website in May. Uh, he had a launch, I think a week ago, and I bought some stuff that I wanted to use for my spring video. It's packaged all beautifully, and I destroyed the box trying to get into it. So I actually didn't buy this, and I was watching his live stream when he included this for me. He included this beautiful daisy pea pad and I'm so excited to use this for the spring video. It's literally perfect. I got two of the bunk bed pee pads in like this bumblebee print because I bought a bunk bed. So most of my pigs absolutely love the bunk bed that Austin sells on his shop. And I really, really loved the blue color that he came out with. So I decided to get one for the spring video because it'll match the cage themes I'm doing really well because there's a lot of blue in them. So we have a blue bunk bed with the blue legs and he also included all blue legs for me because he had some extras. And then I figured I could put these pee pads in here and it would look so nice together. So that's the little order that I got. So I'll keep you guys updated later. Hey guys, so it is April 21st today and I have a couple of packages to show you. So the first package right here is inside of this box. As I said um, a little bit earlier in the video, I won a raffle and in the raffle I got a gift card to the naturalcavy.com. I ordered their just like big bundle kit of a bunch of different like forages and stuff with the gift card. So I'm just going to show you what I got. Okay, I kind of destroyed the box a little bit, but here is all the stuff inside. First we have this business card. Feel free to pause it if you'd like to read it. It just has all of their social media information. And then in the back, has a little bit of information about treats, herbs, forages, and toys. Basically just kind of going over proper diet and stuff for bunnies and guinea pigs. This card right here says, what makes our treats so great? It says, we say no to preservatives, fillers, binders, added sugars, and unsafe ingredients. Most of our treats are under six ingredients. You can rest easy knowing your pets are getting nothing but the best. So I got the welcome kit. It was $31, but I mean, I didn't pay for much because I had the gift card. So that's always fun. These cards explain what is in the box. And then there's also this card right here that talks about the welcome kit. So we, <laughs> the, everyone's gonna start weaking. We have Chloe's Organic Pea Flakes, dust extracted. This is a 70 ounce bag. I haven't given pea flakes to my pigs in a while. And then we have some organic bell pepper bits, red and green bell pepper in this bag here. Let me open it. Ooh, it smells so good. I love it. And then we have three bags right here. This is full of four bonbons, which is an assortment of carrot, rose petals, beet with parsley, kale and apple with bell pepper, blue butterfly pea with apple carrot bits. Feed one bonbon every other day. Get a little, little bonbons here. I like the name of them, they're cute. Then we have some hearty hearts. These are hay-based chews for small animals. It's like big hearts. And then we have a bag of snackers, which are carrot, dandelion, beet parsley, calendula blues, and Chloe's pea, probably said that wrong. That's what these look like. So I got all of that for $31, which is not bad at all. So I'll put the link down below. They also gave me a Tootsie Roll and some brown paper that I can give to Zero. <laughs> and then the other thing that I have to show you in Zero is over here chewing on the little hearty heart. It's called a hearty heart, I love that. Um, she's loving it and it's huge, so it's lasting her quite a while. She's been gnawing on it for like five minutes now and she hasn't really made a dent in it, so it's a good distraction treat for a bunny. <laughs> so the next thing I have here is a six pound box of Timothy Hay from Eaton Pet and Pasture. They actually sent this to me to kind of review and show you guys. So they are um, a naturally grown farmer owned company based in the USA. Packages of Timothy Hay and ships it out to people. Um, there's no additives, no preservatives, veterinarian approved, no pesticides, and it's first cut blend of Timothy Hay. It's Western Timothy and orchard grass in this box here. So I figured I would just open it up on camera and check out the quality firsthand. They have been sending their box to a lot of people online and a lot of companies who send out their stuff for free online 
um, are just doing it because they want good reviews. So I want to actually see if the hay is good quality and give my honest review real quick for you guys because the hay is pretty expensive that they're selling. So from first glance, and I'm sure Zero is going to come over here and try to get into some of this. It's very brown. Um, I don't know. I hate to like review something badly and i normally just buy oxbow hay and oxbow hay is not always amazing so i'm not here trying to say that oxbow is the best but i i like oxbow and it's way cheaper than this here but this is pretty brown it doesn't look super dusty though which is what i like but i wouldn't say that it's worth spending the extra money on it zero is over here um i wouldn't say that it's worth that extra money that it is if i'm going to be honest from first looks of it it doesn't look worth the money to me if you want to support like a farmer owned company based in the usa then he's there and i'll put the link for them down below um, and I'm sure my pigs will enjoy the hay regardless and my bunny because they enjoy literally anything I give them. But I always do want to give you guys an honest review for things that are sent to me. And I think the packaging and everything is amazing. But honestly, the shipping took a pretty long time. I don't know what their issue was with shipping. Um, they told me that it shipped out like two weeks before it even did. And then they said that it got lost and then... USPS took too long to come pick it up. I don't really know, but it took like two and a half weeks to get to me when I could order a 50 pound box online on Chewy and get it in two days. I mean, Zero is enjoying the box, so <laughs> yeah. But I'll put the link for them down below if you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself. Maybe I got a bad box. Um, I saw a couple people's reviews and they got really good boxes, so maybe I just didn't get a good batch of hay. I don't know, but I'll keep you guys updated if I buy anything else.